Hello again and welcome to another edition of Pitch Talk. Today we are going to address a general issue which many people have a problem with and I myself found difficult in the initial stages. Something that has to do with the general society and also with how we tend to park. I'm talking about parallel parking. So in this episode we thought we'd concentrate a little bit on how parallel parking makes a difference and how to parallel park. There are many roads in which there are a lot of vehicles that travel throughout the day and people park perpendicularly. And when this happens, there's a lot of congestion and traffic jam. When people park perpendicularly, it reduces the width of the road and hence the number of vehicles that can pass through it. If we could just park parallelly, then all of us could maintain such that at least two lanes would be free in the road for us to travel. Here now, we will show you a basic demonstration of how to parallel park. As we can see here, the car has to first find a space in which it will be able to accommodate. Now the car has to first go in front in order to estimate the distance it has to travel back. Then the wheels have to get adjusted and then you will have to reverse slowly into the gap. Once you reverse into the gap and you find that there's enough space in front, make sure that you adjust the wheels once again and you can straighten the car such that it fits perfectly into the gap. And so, the next time you get a chance, make sure you don't park perpendicularly. So now that you've learned how to park parallelly, we'd like to sign off on this episode. So stay tuned for many such more episodes where we can help you improve your driving and also give you more tips on different things about cars.